dorso, talonavicular joint, and ligament. Uh, this is becoming increasingly more fascinating for me. Um, people will come along and say, I've got pain right at the front there. They'll put, point their finger down, say, that's where I've got the movement. Um, I'm finding 25% of, uh, sorry, that's where they've got the pain. They'll point to that region indicated on this slide, and I say, that's where I've got the pain. About 25% of all ankle sprains that I scan have uh, an issue in this region. They'll come in like this and go, this is where I'm sore, the right hand. This is, I'm sore just over here. This is where we're scanning, pro position, and it's the dorso talonavicular ligament that we're looking at. And this is what it looks like. This is a normal ligament. So you can see here, a normal dorsal talonavicular ligament. History is very important. How are most of these injured? These are injured in a hyper plantar flexed injury with uh, a degree, plus or minus, you could say, uh, inversion. So these are the people uh, that miss the bottom step or their heel hits the bottom step, forces them into over a plantar flexion and their weight bearing, and they go forward and they end up uh, at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, in a pothole, um, dancers get these uh, on, their, on their toes, injuries where they're on their toes, football players. Uh, as a little aside, and, and I don't mean to, to, to be rude for a period of time, we had a bunch of young women who were going off to weddings, wearing high heels, uh, having a little bit too much to drink, uh, and when you ask them, how did you injure your ankle? And during wedding season, we get a few of these, they say, oh, I decided to dance on the table in my high heel shoes, and I fell off the table. So there are some good stories. And so here we have an injured talonavicular ligament on the left in the yellow and normal on the right. And there may or may not be a degree of bony irregularity. And in fact, here's one that we've scanned that has got small avulsion uh, fractures of the talus and the navicular in that area. So what are the implications? These are anterior rather than lateral pain. These tend to have ongoing low-grade symptoms. They go on and on for month and month. These are the ones that come back for a second opinion. There must be something else going on. Somebody's missed something on an x-ray. Somebody's missed something and I've still got this pain. Anterior impingement, they, this is a big, big flag uh, for avulsion injury if they have an anterior impingement. What do I mean by that? If they go into a, a deep squat, so hyper um, flexion, uh, hyper dorsiflexion, they get pain. And again, remembering avulsion injuries, particularly of the periosteum, they're less than one millimeter thick, and these are often missed on x-ray. 